Agenda 21 was revealed at the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development, or the Earth Summit, which was held in Rio de Janeiro on June 14, 1992. Agenda 21 defines itself as a comprehensive plan of action to be taken globally, nationally, and locally by organizations of the United Nations system in order to further the agenda of sustainable development. This is actually where we get the term sustainable development from Agenda 21. Amongst the stated objectives of Agenda 21 is the rewilding of America through the Wildlands Project. This project would remove human beings from over half of the land in America and deem these areas core wilderness zones. Regardless of where your family farm once was, human beings will not be allowed to set foot in these areas. There would also be highly controlled and monitored buffer zones around these areas in which travel would be severely limited. Finally, humans would be forced to live in compact, futuristic cities full of skyscrapers where travel is controlled and tracked. This is what the eventual culmination of smart growth is going to look like. It sounds crazy, I know. I was just as dubious when I heard, first heard about it too. However, upon reading their own documents, it turns out that it's all true. It's called the Wildlands Project, part of Agenda 21. I suggest you all look into it in detail because you're about to pass an ordinance that's beginning the process. First of all, I want to congratulate you on referring to density as compact development. Because when the, here, when the citizens hear about density, it's opposition immediately. So when I was chairman of the Smart Growth Panel, I tried to get that in, compact development, don't talk about density. had been there and let her live. Four years, he figured, he was wrong. Tyrell had told me Rachel was special, no termination date. I didn't know how long we'd have together. Who does? Walked into his house, one of the first things I noticed was a Lego spinner model, uh, the, the police car that Deckard uses in Blade Runner. And I thought, uh, wow, that's really cool. Did a, did a fan make that for you? And it turns out uh, a fan did make it for him, but that fan was actually the Lego company. You have to talk about this, uh, the spinner that oh. Lego made for you. Roger and I were in, were in Denmark for the, it was like a worldwide five-year plan Lego design session, okay? I was a guest speaker. And they have a guy at Lego that makes things like this. If they get a franchise for a movie, he sits there and using all the available Lego parts makes, um, makes something that matches the movie. So, you know, the doors go up. And it's, it's really a beautiful thing.